Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to RimWorld. Playing our Jungle City High Pop Challenge, and I haven't played in a little over a week because I've been sick. So if you're hearing me and I sound kind of nasally and just the sound is bad and whatever, it's because I'm sick. And I'm getting over it. Not 100% yet. What's up, Condor? Oh, you're going to be released. All right, well, we'll stick you on friendly chats for now. We got a bunch of new prisoners from this latest raid. Look at all these corpses and shit. We have two butcher tables ready to handle corpses. And we have a freezer. What we don't have is the proper priorities to get everything hauled into the freezer so that they don't rot outside. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put everyone on hauling one except for cooks. So who are my cooks? Red World and Dead Goalie, but they both have wounds. So they won't be cooking for a little while. Man, I'm so tempted to get a, a little nutrient paste dispenser. Do we have enough steel for that? Yeah, we do. Why don't I get a nutrient paste dispenser? Just put it right here. Or maybe right here, right next to the store. Yeah. All right. Where is it? All right. Kind of, I mean, I guess that'll work. It's just kind of big and in the way. Big and clumsy, right? Like me? It's just so in the way. Ugh. Maybe that's better. No, it's still in the way. Oh, it's just fucking in the way, man. All right, fine. All right, whatever. Just put it in. Tickhead, thanks for resubbing, man. 10 years, holy shit. All right, all these traps that we have to reset. So someone made, good, someone made a good point that when we release prisoners, well, obviously first and foremost, they should never be going through a maze when they get released. They should just go out the door. But apparently prisoners cannot use doors. So what we need to do is when we want to release a prisoner, we got to go hold open. We got to order our dude out there to hold this door open. So that when we release the prisoners, they'll go out the fucking door instead of out the goddamn maze. I guess that's what we have to do. We left off last episode and there was a big fire from lightning strike. Took out our power lines, so these two generators are not hooked up right now. God, there's so many corpses out here. So many things to go pick up. Oh my goodness, are we actually going to get enough priority to pick up all this shit? I don't think we are. We're gonna, we're gonna be in a situation where we can't pick up everything. There's so much shit to pick up. I'm gonna put everyone on hauling one. And I'm sure that's stupid, but at the moment, we just need to haul stuff. So let's haul stuff. So goalie, what's wrong with you? Get patched up? Yeah, you're all patched up. You need to get patched up and you also need to get patched up. Who is my doctor? Uh, Teske, you can be a doctor. Consuming package survival meal. No, you're gonna doctor. Treat. And it looks like our new prisoners are... Let's see, Canberra? The ones that have little red medical symbols are probably new ones. I mean, I just don't remember. This one's light switch isn't even on, so he must be new. Yeah, hopefully this fire will get put out. I added this to the home zone. So everyone's coming to put it out the fire now. Once the fire is out, we can get the power line put in under the cement here. Which should re... The cement should provide some protection. See how the fire is not actually going across the cement? I don't think it can. Yeah. Oh no, the fire is burning in the cement. What? I didn't think that was possible. Shows what I know. Come on, put out the fire. We have so much work to do, everyone. I mean, at least they're all coming together to get this shit done, right? Lava Jackal's getting his treatment. Oh, whoa, whoa. One thing I forgot to mention is when I loaded up the file today, I checked on the animals, and all three females are now able to be trained in rescue, 
which I believe means they're also full adults. So they should be ready for mating as well. So hopefully we'll get some puppies soon. All three of our females now have uh, an, I guess he's elderly, he's eight-year-old male husky, uh, Mr. Voodoo. Good, the fire's out. So hopefully they'll start getting prego. What is this? Dead cobra, it's just a skeleton. Ho <laughs> hopefully they'll start getting prego and fill in these little puppy things here. How many do we have? I like how it says various, but doesn't count for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have only had nine, that's not that many. I think I would like to move our crafting area over here. This this section, we can just dig this out, wall this off. So we still have our maze, but wall this off and then put crafting here. And this can be our little pet area. Just put in like 20 or 30 pet beds or something. Wall this off and extend our great room. Because the great room right now is very cramped. I'd like to add some more happiness shit in there. If possible. Severe illness, Varga. What's wrong, Varga? Uh, you never got treatment. Oh, you're getting treated right now. You'll be fine. But if you have severe illness... Oh, it's, it's just blood loss. It's not severe illness. Blood loss is fine. Uh, blood loss, you can heal just by patching up. You don't even need medicine. So that's not a problem. I thought it might be an infection. Infections are deadly. Blood loss, not so much. Got all these fucking corpses. What are you doing? You're fixing the traps. Okay. Don't forget to haul the corpses now. Fixing traps counts as hauling, by the way. So if you do like I did, you made everyone hauling party one, they're going to be fixing traps all day. Well, good straighter. Ooh. And Caro has bad illness. What's wrong, Caro? Just blood loss. You'll be fine. So who is my communications expert? Looks like Scrapbox. All right, Scrapbox, let's talk to the bulk goods trader. Sell some of this human meat. Green Ibis. All right, Green Ibis. You're going to buy my... I guess I can keep... I'm going to get rid of things that we don't have enough of to make anything. Like, there's not enough monkey hide, muffalo, or tortoise to, to make anything. Husky fur, probably not not enough. Chinchilla fur, not enough. 50 and 40? That might not be enough. But the human skin, that's def we definitely have enough human leather. So we'll keep the human leather. 100, 100 cobra skin is enough. Cape and bear, we can get rid of that. 100, yeah, yeah. So we have a, a lot of leathers that we can use. So I'll sell the stuff that's too low quantity. I'm, I'm going to keep all the food. I would love to sell some of this food to free up some space. Holy shit, that's a lot of cloth. Um, You know what? Sell all the cloth. Fuck it. Fuck it. I mean, look at that. We're making $1,000 off of it. We'll just make clothes out of human leather. I'm going to keep all the food because we recently had a lot of disasters to our farms. So, probably don't want to get rid of that. Sell the human meat, though. There you go. And uh, I would love to get some... Oh, I can buy an elephant. I'm not going to buy an elephant. I would love to get some traders to come by where we can buy some uh, bionic parts because we definitely have money for it now. All right. Very nice. Low medicine. Yeah. Yeah, not much I can do about that. We have no medicine. Is this ready to harvest? 97% ready to harvest. Okay, yeah. So we do have some medicine ready to harvest, but it's not much. And down here, well, we got to start from scratch. 71% grown. That's not that bad. We have one plant almost ready. All right, let's go speed two. How you doing, Dead Goalie? You're good? Yeah, you're good. Disease infection. Uh-oh. Barga has an infection. Bananas go move. Thanks for resubbing. Barga has an infection. Oh, Barga. Oh, Barga. What's wrong? Minor infection of your right arm. All right, let's get that treated. Who's awake that can treat you? Sleep. You're awake. Are you good at treatments? Yeah. Oh, you're treating Kamba. Who's Kamba? Kamba? 
Oh, Kamba never got treated. Um, I think we'll have you start by treating Barga, and then you can treat Kamba. Okay. Oh, there you go. Dead Gully's going to treat. Perfect. Perfect. We got lots of people good at medicine. Nice. But we don't have any actual medicine. So when they're bandaging them up and treating the wounds and shit, they're not using medicine. Which means the treatment won't be as good. Which worries me. I think Barga might die. And Barga's the easiest one to recruit out of all these motherfuckers. God damn it. Why you gotta die? Why you gotta die? Ah. <sighs> oh well. Visitors. Visitors from Solidarity's River. Oh, it's just two idiots. Whatever. So last episode, we queued up these generators and some pathways to be built. And hopefully we can get this put back in. How are the batteries holding up? Batteries are just fine. I mean, putting this wire back in would be nice, but it really is not a big deal. Don't repair the wire. Destroy that wire, damn it. Oh, hunting time, huh? Yeah, Potato Man. How you doing with your skill, Potato Man? Potato Man's at skill 10. Not bad. What, what sniper rifle are you using? You're using a normal sniper rifle. All right. Didn't I pay? Didn't I pay top dollar for a really good sniper rifle? There it is. Legendary sniper rifle on dead goalie. So good. Such a good sniper rifle. Wow. All right. So we are getting some corpses hauled into the corpse freezer, which is fantastic. That was that was the intent of the corpse freezer all along was to just store the bodies that we couldn't chop up fast enough. And it looks like that's working, but there are still some bodies. But not that many. It looks like hauling party one is working out just fine. Like I would normally say hauling party one is silly, but it seems to be working. And someone suggested that we should build a incinerator or crematory, what is it called? Whatever it is that, to incinerate these guys just to get the cor get rid of the corpses, isn't that probably a good idea? Um, I guess I can just put it in that building. Poor mood, dude. Fuck your poor mood. Let's run a power line out here. What is that considered? Misc production. There it is. Do we have any sandstone? We have oodles of sandstone. Perfect. And make this unroofed, right? It is unroofed. Perfect. Wait, this thing can sizzle in the rain, right? Uh, I'll roof just that section. Just that corner. There you go. Perfect. All right. Well, that's nice. I think everything's kind of settling down now. I, I, I shouldn't say things like that because I'll be obviously proven wrong. But, you know, yeah, we're doing all right. Who's on farming priority? Because that shit needs to get done. Teskey and Dickhead. All right. So anyone who's got farming priority, I'm going to take them off of hauling priority. I need them to keep farming. I, I feel kind of silly not getting the farming done. Like, what the fuck are you doing if you're not farming, right? Oh. Let me slurp my coffee here. I'm still very congested and it's really annoying. Like just breathing is difficult sometimes. But this is good. We're getting all of the corpses chopped up, which means we have a ton of human meat. I wonder if I can sell to that. Um, are they still around? No, the, the trader is gone. I was going to sell all this new human meat, but it's all the trader left. That's all right. We'll get another trader someday. I have a Berserk Prisoner. Let's block that door. Any of the dogs pregnant yet? Oh, tail destroyed. Damn. Nope, none of the dogs are pregnant. Okay, we'll get there. 
I sound so zen today. I, I'm just lost. I, I don't remember what we were doing. Like, I, I did watch the last episode, all of it. Still lost. I don't know what we're doing. I know we need to build a maze out here, but obviously other things have priority. Okay, so the farming is getting done. Good. Oh, shit, no! Potato Man, Shlomo, Red World, Ergo, English, and Lava Jackal all have malaria. Wow. Idle Colonist, Super Lace. Super Lace, how do you have nothing to do? How can you have nothing to do? You're seriously telling me that there's no farming, no hauling, and no cleaning to be done in the entire facility? I don't believe you, Super Lace. I do not believe you, Super Lace. But if that's the case, you're free to do whatever. Look, there's dirt right here. Super Lace, come on now. Come, look, there's dirt right there. There's tons of shit to clean up. I, I think that was just a bug. Anyway, malaria time means we need to turn all this shit back on. All right. Yes, yes, everyone's got malaria. God damn it. That really is a pain in the dick. Because we don't have... What do we have? We have four medicine. Oh my god. Do I just let this prisoner die? Because I could turn off medicine, just let the prisoner die. Ah, oh, it's probably the smart thing to do. I really don't have enough medicine for this prisoner right now. Alright, no medicine. Sorry, dude. No medicine. Sorry, dude. You die from malaria, you die from malaria. Ergo also has malaria. No medicine. This goes to colonists only. Alright, we're not using that one. Turn that off. Oh, balls. A local monkey has gone mad. Are you fucking kidding? A local monkey. A monkey. Like, really? Alright. What did you say, monkey man? 18-year-old monkey? Kind of old for a monkey. I guess I can turn these turrets on. Here, dickhead, turn these turrets on. There you go. No more dead, no more mad monkey. Fine. <laughs> Stupid monkey. I feel bad for these prisoners, you know. Add some joy hours to the schedule of your malaria patients. Let the force to have some joy while ill and won't go crazy. Their Ava, they just stay in bed. If you add joy to their schedule, they do not get up and go do joy stuff. They just stay in bed all day. And you cannot right-click on them and... I mean, you can't click on them and then right-click on anything with joy. You cannot force them to joy. There is no way to force your colonists to joy. None. If you, if you find out a way to do it, let me know. But, like, I can just... I can just do this... All day joy on, on the people with malaria. They will not get up and go do anything. They will stay in bed all day. I'll do it for Shlomo, okay? Shlomo. There you go, Shlomo. Shlomo's not going to get up and do any joy. Draft them and move them to a joy place? <laughs> there is no such thing as a joy place. A joy place would require them to actually do a joy activity. For instance, using the telescope outside, that's a joy activity. You can't right click on it, force them to use it. Using the television is a joy activity. You cannot right click and tell them to use it. Moving them to that location by drafting them does not add any joy. You can set their priority for patient to two. Okay. Shlomo, where's your party patient? Uh, Shlomo. Patients. Now, I have never fiddled with this, ever. Patients rest in medical beds if they need to receive treatment or recover from illness. I have never fiddled with this, ever. So putting that at two, does that mean that Shlomo will now get up and start doing work?
Just staying in bed. I, I don't think there's any way to affect it, really. No, they can't watch TV in bed. We could put a TV in the... And I thought that'd be an, a fantastic way to solve the problem, is just let them get joy from a TV in the hospital room. But you can't. They don't use it. Well, he still hasn't moved from bed. But we'll see. As far as some of these names orange and some of the names green, is that is that their level of hostility, maybe? Like maybe they're very upset. Let's see, you're not you're green, so your opinion should be really good. If I could fucking select you. No, your opinion sucks. It's the same as Canva's opinion. So why are you green? Is it is that my setting? Chat and recruit is green, whereas friendly chat is orange. Chat and recruit is yellow. That's chat and recruit. Oh shit, the batteries are dead. Did we not get this done? Oh my god, I never hooked this up. Oh my god. Oh balls. Oh my god. How can I not have this done? I don't even know what to say. Our batteries are dead. Oh God. Build it all. Tons of power just sitting here, baby. No, no, no. Stop doing other shit. I wish you could just... I wish you just say, hey, do all this right here. But they won't. You have to do every single tile. And it's the most frustrating thing. Come on. Do your work. Do it. Finish the task. Do your job. Do what I pay you to do. Come on. Finish your job. Oh my god, there's not even any steel out here. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Potato man. Meditating. No, bring the steel out here, dude. Just do all of this. Why, why, why do I gotta do every single tile? Why? Why? I don't want to do every tile. I got other shit to do, man. I got malaria. I got prisoners. I'm low on medicine. I'm low on food. All right, here we go. We're done. We're done. This is it. This is it. Okay, good. All right, so these batteries should charge now. Yes. Good. Okay, not a problem. I'm going to remove this from the home zone. I added this to the home zone, and I forgot to remove it. I added it to the home zone so they would put out that fire at the start of the episode. But now that the fire is out, just remove this. There you go. Multiple bin. They... Yeah, Shlomo's still in bed. Has not moved. Even though Shlomo has a patient setting at two. So he should be up and moving. He's not moving. Potato Man killed another boar. Good job. Oh, the nutrient paste dispenser thing is up. Very nice. So if we don't have anyone cooking, which... It can happen, right? If people have malaria or whatever, they won't be cooking. Then they'll at least have uh, 
some nutrient paste. Better than nothing. Uh, meat. Just no human meat. Okay, yeah, I think that's fine. But let's not put meat in there at all. Let's just use vegetables. Because we're never going to have much meat. We're always going to have lots of veggies. So that's good. Yeah. Excellent. Don't forget the South Maze. Well, we're not done with the construction tasks that we've given them. Like, they still haven't put in the path here. They still haven't put in the crematory. They need to get some stuff done before I will allow them to build the South Maze. Right? There's priorities. The South Maze is needed, but it's not a priority. Electricity is a priority. This pathway is needed. This crematorium is needed. And then we'll do the South Maze. One step at a time. How are you doing with your illness, dude? Oh, he's immune. He actually survived. Wow. Nice. Very nice. I'm worried when it says malnutrition. Like, why is there malnutrition? I need. We need to find out why there's malnutrition. We have one, two, three. We have four people with wardening duties. Uh, perhaps I should increase their priority to two. So we have four people with wardening duties. Do they have malaria? We're looking at Lave, Grob, Shlomo, I know he has malaria. And Scrapbox. Do you have malaria? No. Grob, no. Lave. No. Okay, so the people who can do wardening do not have malaria. They should be doing the wardening, and hopefully they will. Uh, perhaps the problem is... Wait, why is this... Perhaps the problem is I have everyone set to hauling one. So I'm going to take the wardens off of hauling one. Let them do their wardening tasks. I think that is the problem. So they're not bringing food and they're not treating the prisoners. Anyway, I do believe... Oh good, they, they actually harvested the field here. I do believe we need to end the episode here. So thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen, you have been you. Come back next time, where hopefully we'll get a combat supplier to come by. We can sell all these weapons and clothes and shit, because they're just taking up space. Uh, we have a lot of construction to get done. Still haven't hooked up these two generators, but we did rehook up these two thermal generators. It was fantastic. It's so nice that the batteries were full out here. So as soon as we hooked that wire up, we had no electric problems at all. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven prisoners at the moment. And I, I think some of them we have to release. Am I right? No, recruit. Okay, you're going to get released. Recruit, 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 recruit. Release. Okay, so there's two of them are going to get released. That's five prisoners that we can recruit. That's fantastic. I, I'm so happy that we have this fucking prisoner wing out here. It's going to be great. Anyway, that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Where we'll hopefully put in another bedroom there. Uh, get this construction shit done, and maybe come back to some type of sense of what the fuck we were doing. <laughs> I'm so lost. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.